What's up, St. Louis? We checking out another one, man. We in the loop, and we really in the loop. Let's see what they talk about. I always use this scheme when I make it rhymes Cause I always keep him like a 40, he be by my side We fully loaded, all these heathens better recognize I reckon I would be the one that flesh this exercise An exorcism for the niggas that's on demon time Wish I could multiply so I could conquer and divide A lot of times I'm kinda torn cause I wouldn't be one of a kind But more like the most high so when I take the role What's going on St. Louis? I'm here with D. Madison Yes, yes and we're in the loop. Tell us a little bit about it, man. Tell us how you got started. Uh, where I got started is um, I own another company, and I came across this gym because of one of my projects of another company. And I saw that Wolf Albert Pizza right there, and it just gave me an idea of uh, opening up a restaurant. And the reason why I opened a restaurant is because I want to bring people together to break bread and uh, just get like-minded people together to go out to the community and make a change, you know. Um, Maybe get together, start a, a program where we teach financial responsibility, conflict resolution. You know, I'm working on a podcast called Habit TV, which stands for Helping Advance by Informing and Teaching. So the restaurant is the draw to get like-minded people together so we start having that conversation. So that's okay. why I opened up the restaurant. Okay. How long you guys been here in the loop? Oh, um, two years, and the day is what? The day is the 10th? Two years, six Just days. two years? Two years, six days. Now look, man, I gotta <laughs> ask you, what made you go with that name? That's a bold name right there, man. Well, I have to give credit to my, uh, my, my partner who, was, uh, who used to be with me. Um, we, we kicked some names around, and the whole thing, since we want to bring people together and get them in the loop, the best way they, the name of the restaurant was called In The Loop. Mm. So that's how the name came about. That's cold yeah, right there, man. That's how the name came about. So once you're in the loop, the, the thing is to, to draw you in, and then we spread we spread out together with people to go out and make change. That's 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 the whole thing. Okay. You from St. Louis? I'm not. Nope. Uh, not? Born in Chicago. Last place of residence was Michigan, but I've been to St. Louis going on like eight years and uh I like St. Louis. As a matter of fact I kinda love St. Louis just based on the economy aspect. But coming from places like Michigan where the automobile industry dictates the vitality of the other of the other state. St. Louis is not like that. There's a lot of opportunities here, you know. Okay. There's a lot of things that uh, if a General Motors pulled out, St. Louis wouldn't when when flinch, you know. So from a economic standpoint, this is this is a great place to be. Man, I don't hear that from a lot of people. Well, this I'm from here, so right. got kind of a love hate for the city, you know. But definitely love it. Most definitely, that's why I'm doing yeah. this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but tell me a little bit about. You said this is a wood fire? It's a wood fire oven. It's a Stephen Ferrari Napoli oven. It comes from Italy. It's about 25,000 pounds. When they bought it in, they had to take out the back wall to bring in an assembly here. Now, I'm, I'm a, a blessing of the oven because the two people who had the building before me, they couldn't take the oven with them, so they left it. So when I saw it, mm. that's like, okay, I'm going to use this. And, you know, black man making pizza, you know, hey, that seemed like a win-win for me. So Okay, you know. okay. What kind of pizza do you make? I um, mean, I have like uh, barbecue brisket, chicken alfredo, chicken bacon ranch, uh, your, your basic pepperoni, I have buffalo chicken. I mean, I can do pretty much anything uh, with, with pizzas. And uh, I do Rockefeller oysters out of Everything comes out of the oven. I fry nothing here in the restaurant. It's fried. My wings come out of the oven. My oysters come out of the oven. My cinnamon rolls, my uh, pizza rolls. Everything is cooked out of the oven. The pasta is, 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 is I make the pasta. But then I top it off in the oven to get that nice little oven caramelized uh, cheese crust to it. Okay. And uh, so everything come out the oven. The oven is a phenomenal tool. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you have family here? Yeah. I have my wife, and I just recently discovered that I have a cousin here. Okay. And that is it. Okay. I, the reason I ask is because a lot of the places that we've been running across that are homegrown, they have, like, family working for them or his fam you know all these places that we've been running across is definitely family oriented you know and your name it's, itself is yeah, I you know it. what i'm saying in the loop that's a family thing you know what i'm well, saying that's my concept once you be part of once you become part of the team then i treat you like family okay right? okay so yeah um what would you say is the hardest thing about being in the food culture here in st louis um Right now with me, you know, uh, 
And not to cut you out, not no. not not the hardest thing, but most challenging. Not most challenging, just um, basically like I guess we can say what is the hardest thing. I don't really say want to say what is the hardest thing. It's something else no. I'm looking for, but okay, let's go with that. What would well, you say is the hardest? Let's thing? put this the the biggest ob- obstacle that I have to get over right now is probably notoriety because I think my my product is a. Uh, is excellent. Um, I thrive on giving the best customer service. You know, when you come in, I want you to feel like you're part of the family. Um, I created a venue where, you know, there's a, a variety of different things going on, like karaoke, live music, jazz night. You okay. know, so I, I, I try to mix things up to get people things to choose from. But a lot of people still don't know that we're here. Yeah. So that's, that's you know, no matter how much media advertising you do, and by not, by not having family here, my Facebook is not really connected here, okay. so I have to really pound the pavement to get out there to let people know that we're here. We're here. So, we're what here. you get on to like the? Uh, I know they got like business pages. I do. I do the U City Loop page. I do okay. uh, TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, anything I can. Yelp, Google, whole nine yard. And this year though, and uh, you know, you get you get to the point where you have to be realistic. Like, okay, what's the livelihood? You know, because like I said, thank. Praise God that my one business is, is flourishing because they're able to take care of the restaurant to get to the, for the restaurant to stand. Because okay. the first three to five years in the restaurant is your telltale whether or not you're going to be successful, right? So we're going into our, our, our third year now. But um, this year has been a blessing. This February has been has been a blessing as far as, you know, uh, I have Senator Williams coming next week. I'm meeting, meeting certain people and stuff. So this is making those connections and networking and then people are getting out. Wash has been a blessing. Um, it's just this year tonight is gonna be the year that's gonna take note of that hurdle where the restaurant can stand on its own. So. Okay, you pretty much kind of answered my next question. I was gonna ask you like, what's the atmosphere here? But you kind of answered that. You say you got who you who you got coming? Uh, I have Senator Williams coming. Um, Senator Williams. The atmosphere in the restaurant. I go for grown, grown and sexy. I mean, I want you uh, to come yeah. in. Yeah, have a great time. You know, uh, good drinks. Uh, um, just have a phenomenal time. Laughter. Feel safe. You know, there's ample amount of parking in the back, so there's nothing you have to worry about your, your car getting ticket or nothing like that. It's just, uh, I just want you to feel like you're a part. So when I greet you, I greet you with love, you know, and I try to uh, instill that in my in my uh, employees or my uh, my family members because I can watch you how to become family members. I try to instill that in them too, so. Yeah. Have you had any uh, celebrities or any notable influences? Has anybody come through here? I had a... Uh, Spinks came through. Corey Spinks came through. Corey him, Spinks. Him, him, his brother came through. Okay. Um, there's a he gonna kill me if I, I forgot his name. But there's a kick um, MMA uh, fighter. He has the greatest uh, knockout in MMA history. Uh, he he came through. Um, a few uh, this local uh, uh, radio talents uh, came through. But that's 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 about it. Okay. Um, I would like to get Nelly to come through. So if you hear this, hey Nelly, come on through. Hey Nelly, <laughs> I know you see us, baby. We in the loop. Like yeah. You city, your hometown, come through. Yeah, but nah, uh, um, that's what's up, man. Um, what's the future of this place? Like, do you plan on doing like chains, or just you want to stay here in the loop? Right now, the thing is to get this to be self-sustaining, right? Okay. So you know, I want to. Uh, yeah, because you're just yeah, getting started. Okay. Just yeah. getting started, you know. So you're getting self-sustained, and once this becomes self-sustained, then I can look at you know other avenues and things of this nature. But if I do do a, a uh, if God bless me to, to get to the point where I do think about franchise, I want it to be somewhat similar to what I have here because the the vibe here is great. I mean, this. It's relaxing. Is is you know this is a great vibe. And that's what everybody say when they come in. They love the vibe. They love the vibe. What do you think in the loop? Uh, it's kind of similar to the question I asked you before. But what do you think it um, brings to the food culture here in St. Louis? I think it brings a, a different flavor to, uh, to to pieces. One one of the demographics I looked at when I decided to open the, uh, the restaurant. There's not a lot of wood fire pizza places around here. You have a lot of conventional ovens, and they had a couple, but they closed. Um, you know, Emos is a different type of style pizza and stuff. So this gives you a, 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 a choice, right? 
and not just that, but even the, the pasta that I make, even the Rockefeller oysters, because a lot of people are not doing oysters in a, in, a, in a pizza place, but I cook my oysters and you know, I, the way I season and everything. And then my, my burgers, my burgers are, are, are totally different too because I use a childhood recipe that uh, I think takes them over the top. So okay. I just, I think it gives people uh, just, just just a choice, just a more, more diverse uh, place to look for when they want to go out and dine. Then with the background of the karaoke and the music and things of that nature, you come get, and everything is free. So, you know, I don't charge people to come through the door for anything that I do. You and I have the uh, comedy sh- Comedy, the comedians come here. I was just about to yeah. ask you, did you do yeah. that? Because it's, uh, it's right over here, right? Yep. It's a nice yep. setup. And then it's in the window. That's, a, yep. that's, a, that's perfect. Yep. Man. I really? charge no one to come in. It's like, just, just come in and, and you know, I, I take care of the, the artist. I just want you to come in and just have a great vibe and enjoy yourself. So That's dope, man. That's dope. Um, so what would you say is your uh, favorite dish? Yeah. My, my top, from a uh, appetizer standpoint, it would probably be the wings, of course, because um, the wood fire give them a, a whole different flavor and seasoning to them, and then uh, the sauces that, that you put with them just take them to the next level. As far as a pizza, I probably have to go with the between the chicken bacon ranch or the barbecue brisket pizza. Oh, you got a chicken bacon ranch pizza? I had chicken bacon ranch pizza too. Matter mm-hmm. of fact, can you make a uh, Make me a, a chicken bacon ranch pizza. You want to try some other? Y'all, y'all eat pizza? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we Do a chicken bacon ranch half, and then do, a, do, do another half with a barbecue brisket. Matter of fact, do chicken bacon ranch, chicken alfredo, and barbecue brisket all on the same pizza. Let, let, let them taste some three. Hey. All right. So, yeah. Uh, oh, they can order it like that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't never thought I, of that. Yeah, you got to think outside. I tell people, challenge me. Think outside the box, right? Cause I want this to be your experience. I don't. Want, I don't want to put my experience on you. I right. want you this okay. to be your experience. So, yeah, you know? that's dope. Yeah. Um, so, what would be the people's favorite? Like, what's your what, my, what, my what's top, sellers, the my yeah, top, top sellers? My top sellers. Uh, it's between my my wings, my bake, my chicken baker ranch, and my burgers. Once once the people once the people taste the burgers, they they fall in love. Man, what you putting in the burgers? You said I can't tell a, my I can't tell my my, my sauce, but kid, I will tell you my recipe. I will tell you my my toppings that goes with it. So everything is sauteed. I do a uh, jalapeno, uh, banana peppers, mm. mushrooms, onions, spinach, and all that is sauteed in in the oven. Everything topped off with tomatoes, mozzarella cheese. But when I uh, I marinate my burgers before I even even, even prep them, so okay. that, the sauces will give you a whole different juicier flavor. And, if, and once you put all them together, it's like a a, a a taste explosion in your mouth. It's just okay. really cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cold. A yeah. taste explosion. Yeah. Hey, I be uh, I had a bad experience with burgers, so I'm doing. I ain't been eating burgers in like three years, man. I'm telling you, you how don't make me relax. Hey, you can you make about? a burger too, please? Nah. <laughs> he talking about a taste explosion. Yeah. I try, man. I, yeah. I don't really, like, because I used to get the triple, quadruple burgers. Yeah. I used to go crazy with it, but I had a bad experience. Right. I ain't going to say where from, but. That's an overload, but nah, this is uh, this this is nice. The bun is caramelized in the oven. Uh, every, this, okay. this, is, this is a good presentation. So what's the best time to um, come through here? What's your busiest hour? Well, um, on Wednesday, first and third Wednesday, I have live entertainment. So a lot of people come out for that because it also showcase. What I do is um, the, the Drew Project is my, is, I would call my house band. But that's it, that's the band I always perform. The uh, lead singer of the Drew Project owns a, um, a school. Drew, Drew Project? Drew, yep. D-R-E-W, Drew, Drew, Drew D-R-E-W. Project. D-R-E-W. Yep. Okay. So he's on a, he on a school where he teach uh, kids how to play drums and everything. Okay. So what we do on Wednesday night, we're divided up. We'll showcase the, we'll showcase the kids. The kids will come in, they'll play you know, drums. And, come here? Yeah, come here. Okay. Yep, they'll come here, they'll play drums and everything. And, and then uh, he'll sing and do his thing. And then the people in the audience want to come up and sing with the band. They come up and sing with the band and things of that nature. Uh, Wednesday night is good. Thursday night is jazz night. That's you know people who like old style uh, St. Louis type jazz. And okay. what it is is the, um, I work with the college kids and colleges from all over. Their musicians get together, come in, just have a jam session. So okay. you have 18 musicians coming here just just playing on Thursday night. And um, of course Friday and Saturdays are, 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 are some great time. But I'm I'm trying to push. Uh, Mondays and Tuesday, I started a thing called Battle of the Besties, where I take uh, 
couple of set of uh, best friends. They challenge another set of best friends. I just ask questions, see who knows what best friend the best, mm -hmm. and we go from there. And I'm working on the speed dating thing too, just to give people you know, the chance okay, just to come yeah, out and do some things. Yeah, this speed dating setup yeah. right here. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm working on some stuff. Yeah, I do. Uh, you don't do open mics? Yeah, open mic. Yeah, open mic is on um, Mondays, uh, Tuesdays, every other Wednesday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like it's set up right now. I'm trying to get this young lady in the back right there to sing. But yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna yeah. have to come down. Yeah. I'll do a little something. All right, yeah. come on through, my brother. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have yeah. to come down and check y'all out. What days is that? Um, Mondays, Tuesdays, every other Wednesday, skip Thursday because that's jazz, Friday, and Saturday. The mic is always available. I'm, okay. Throughout the oh, whole so day. I can just get in here and start crying. Throughout huh? the whole day, the mic is available. <laughs> it's always hot. It's hot right now. <laughs> it's hot right now. What, what time do you guys open? We open from Monday, and, to Monday, and Thursday, Monday to Thursday. We open from 11 to 11. Friday and Saturday, we open from 11 to 1.30 a.m. in the morning. And if people want to stay, I stay, I stay longer. Then on Saturday is 11 to, or Sunday is 11 to 8. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Y'all do y'all do brunch or anything like that? I do brunch once in a while as a, as a specialty. Um, I did it a couple of times. I'm, I'm thinking about saying, you know, because uh, I make a pretty good breakfast. And I work with, I like to promote other people. So I work with uh, 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 Fat Mike, the chef. I don't know if you know him. I work with him mm -hmm. and um, people he that. He's from here? Yeah, he's from here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Shout people, out Fat Mike. Yeah, people that want to get their, uh, their, their, their self out, I try to use it as a platform. To just help other entrepreneurs have a stepping stone. Like if you want, to, if you want to do a comedian, I don't charge you nothing to, to, to have my space so you can get yourself off. Because this is this is what I'm here for. I'm here okay. to support other entrepreneurs. So you know, that's dope, man, and that's yeah. perfect. That's what that's exactly what the loop needs. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I know. Um, you say you've been here how long? Two years, two years, two six years. days. Yeah. So before you probably got this place, you checked the area out, right? I did. I did the whole so history. Have, have you ever seen, uh, it'd it be a lot of uh, music, mu musicians, yeah. uh, I'm tripping, mm -hmm. musicians out here, um, just out there playing. I put them in off the street and have them come in and play here. So, you know, uh, uh, DP, the, the violinist, uh, he came here and played, the saxophone okay. player, playing in front of vinyl. He didn't came in, came in here and played and stuff, so... You know, I, it's, I want people to feel like, you know, if you, passion is a very important thing in life, right? If you can, if you can make your living off your passion, your life is going to be beautiful because that's what you want to do. You're going to wake up and, 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 and that's, that's your motivation, you know? So I try to give people that, that, that platform where they can work in their passion. I like that, man. Man, we got some dope spots here in the loop, man. Tell them your name again. It's the Madison Fife. D. Madison Five, we here at In the Loop, owner of In the Loop. Uh, give me your social medias out there. You can hit me on my Instagram at, at In the Loop uh, STL. That's my Instagram. If you want to go to the web page, it's In the Loop Pizzeria.com. That's the web page, and um, I'm working on setting up my, the Facebook page. But those are two medias that I pretty much hang out on right now. All right. Y'all go follow the man and most definitely make sure y'all check him out. Give him the address real quick. It's 6665 Delmar Boulevard, located right next door to uh, Soul Taco. A lot of people, uh, since they've been here for a while, I use it as a reference point. But just come in. Once you come in, um, you'll, you'll love the vibe. You'll want to come back. You'll want to come back. I feel like it's definitely a vibe here. Y'all make sure y'all get down here, check out In The Loop. See my boy D. Madison 5. And I appreciate these brothers giving me the opportunity just to be a, a, bit, a part of what they're doing. You know, thank oh, for sure, man. You this, we doing this much for the love, culture, bro. man. Y'all make sure y'all get down here and check out this pizza, man. We about to see what's up. We don't give no bad reviews. We ain't had no bad reviews. But I want you to be honest. Everybody so, hey. doing their thing. Like, hey. Y'all get down here to end the loop as soon as y'all can. Look. Take it up with God. I always use this scheme when I make it rhymes. Cause I always keep him like a 40, he be by my side. We fully loaded, all these heathens better recognize. I reckon I would be the one that flesh this exercise. An exorcism for the niggas that's on demon time. Wish I could multiply so I could conquer and divide. A lot of times I'm kinda torn cause I wouldn't be one of a kind. But more like the most high, so when I take the role, Stay tuned for the next one.